One of the main tasks of your IPS engine is to look for anomalies, anomalies in the network traffic. Now, an anomaly can come in different forms. One of them is what is known as a rate-based signature. That is when there are too many requests packets or anything that is being sent in a specific time slot. Now let's create a custom IPS signature that will detect a DHCP flaw. That is too many DHCP requests that are being sent towards a DHCP server. Coming up. To create our custom signature, our custom IPS signature, we will move to security profiles, IPS signatures. Here you can see the different signatures that you have on your IPS engine. And let's create new and new DHCP float signature. So let's just name that DHCP float. Every IPS signature starts with the FS bid, that is F dash S bid. And now we open up parentheses. Now in the parentheses, we enter keywords that are separated by semicolon. So the first uh, keyword that we always use is the name of the attack that we want to protect from. So let's just uh, name that DHCP float. All right, and now let's use the semicolon. All right, now let's use again the keyword and the keyword will be protocol and the protocol that we are uh, using is UDP since DHCP discover is done over the UDP protocol. So let's just enter UDP. And again, we separate using the semicolon and the service is DHCP. Now the uh, syntax itself is quite logical. You need the signature you choose which protocol the IPS engine should look for, which service it should look for. In our case, it is DHCP. And now we're actually looking for a specific DHCP request, which is uh, of type one, which is DHCP request. So let's use the double dash DHCP underscore type and the type is one. There are different types of DHCP. There's the um, request, there's the response. Each have its own type, so be sure to use the right type. All right, now comes the most important part, which is the rate itself. DHCP requests are being sent all the time, but we look at uh, a suspicious rate. So let's use the double dash rate and you can actually enter which um, number that looks suspicious. So let's use 200 requests throughout five seconds. That looks quite suspicious and that looks like an attempt of DHCP float. All right, so let's continue. Let's use the semicolon and the last Part, we are actually tracking DHCP clients. We're not tracking DHCP servers. So let's use the uh, track keyword. And here we will use DHCP underscore client all in uppercase and use the semicolon. And let's just close our parentheses. And that's actually our rate based signature. So let's look and see it in the IPS signatures. All right, so here we have it. That's our custom IPS signature, the HCP float. We can edit it if we want to add up more options and we can actually use it when we create our intrusion prevention security profile so look for our dhcp float signature that we have just created there it is